and they're off. Along came the Prince shows first. There's Double Vision as well. Between rivals is Rally Squirrel to the outside, the returning Town Jack. At the rail, it's Tuckabuck away. He's followed by Vibe Setter. And at the tail end of the field, already about a dozen lengths from the lead, it's Ringgood. Double Vision emerges with the lead. He wins the battle as they race to the far turn. He's got a length on the duo of Tuckabuck away, who moves up between the leader and Rally Squirrel through a quarter of 23 flat. Back and forth, five lengths from the top as along came the Prince. He's followed by Town Jack. To his inside is Vibe Setter, Ring Good still at the back, trying to close in. Double Vision attacked by both Rally Squirrel and the favorite Tuck a Buck away right now from the back. Along came the Prince at a big price trying to rally. Ring Good's on the far outside. Town Jack slipped between through a half and 46 and four. Off the turn and into the stretch. Tuck a buck away emerges with the lead. Town Jack trying to rally between rivals. Far outside is Ring Good. Along with, along came the Prince. Close to home. Tuck a buck away. Here's along came the Prince. Along came the Prince. Is looking upset at 20 to 1. As is Ring Good. Along came the Prince and Ring Good. Ring Good got him on the money. at And the 10 cent Superfecta. 2613. $1,692. And 85 cents. Nice hit. And they're off. Oh, Amy's link bobbled a bit at the start, and she's last early on. Investment grade off the sprints right to the lead to the first turn. She's followed by Wine Trail, who's already three lengths behind in second. To the outside, that's Coffee Futures now vying for second. After the stumbling start, Amy's link has been maneuvered to the outside. She just moved into third around Wine Trail. The two trailers are Quiet Horizon and Girl of Toscanova, who's at the rail and at the back. She's already 15 from the lead as investment grade is winging it. 24 and 3. A pretty sensible opening quarter for such a big lead. She's got to be 8 in front at this point. It's investment grade. She just bumped it to 10. Inside Coffee Futures, outside the favorite Amy's Link. It's a gap of another, oh, four and a half, five to Wine Trail. Then Girl of Tuscanova and Quiet Horizon. Half mile time, 48 and four. So she picked it up there, did investment grade. As the pack begins to close in, investment grade's lead is down to five lengths as they get to the far turn. Coffee Futures and Amy's Link, the two closest ones. Up the inside comes Wine Trail at a big price. Then Quiet Horizon and Girl of Tuscanova. Three quarters and even 115. They come off the turn and into the stretch. And Coffee Futures has collared investment grade. Coffee Futures the first to go by. She's 11 to 1 and she has the lead. Battling backs investment grade. At the rail comes Wine Trail. Down the center, Quiet Horizon and Jackie. They're a big price too. They're in deep stretch here. Coffee Futures trying to hold on. Here's investment grade. Battling back between horses is Amy's link outside. Quiet Horizon got there. That wasn't. $2 exact to 5'3", 5360. 50 cent try, 5'3", 3750. And the dime super, 5'3", 6'2", $46.15. And they're off. From the outside, draw Mad Magic and a hustling Harry Hernandez trying to get the lead. But there's a host of pursuers from the inside's creation of Adam and between his socks for daughters. Dropping back now along the, in mid-pack is Gold Templar. At the rail, it's solo tonight. Outside to Hanani, and the trailer's the favorite, Eric from Miami. Just six lengths from front to back as they race around the first turn. Creation of Adam. Immediately attacked by Sox for Daughters with a three-deep mad magic through an opening quarter and a sensible 25-1. and one. Four deep. On the far outside, there's Hinani, just a length and a half from the top. Gold Templars, three from the lead to the inside solo tonight. And Eric from Miami, still content at the back of a close group here. Creation of Adam retakes the lead away from Sox for Daughters. Three deeps, Hinani. They went the half mile here in 50 and two as they race towards the far turn here at Finger Lakes. The three of them 
just a head apart. Creation of Adam. Socks for daughters. Hanani. Mad Magic comes under a ride. From the back, Eric from Miami starts to launch his bid. He's still a half a dozen from the front. Then Solo tonight and Gold Templar. The field makes their way to the top of the stretch. Hinani, Mad Magic's been under a drive, but Mad Magic's starting to make up ground down the center. Hinani trying to hold him off, off the turn and into the stretch. Three quarters and 115. Hinani, here comes Mad Magic. Mad Magic produced on the outside, grabs the lead, and at the 16th pole begins to edge away from Hinani. Late rally from the favorite, Eric from Miami. Too late, not enough. Mad Magic, two and a half. Then Hinani. Out next, it starts today's 50 cent pick five. Here in the fourth, you can scratch the seven East Harbor and the eight Disney's Gal. Scratch the seven and eight from race number four. Post time for the four. And now off, last in, first out, my little one right to the lead. Here's Sol Imperatrice to encounter her immediately and take over the lead. From the rail, not afraid to charge. And between Disco Princess is fourth. Back in fifth is Bury the Lead. Then out of the cloud and the trailer is Baby Dream. Sol Imperatrice hooks up here with Not Afraid to Charge. They go the opening quarter in 23 and 1. In between horses is my little one. My little one and a little bit of a jam there. She backed up to the outside. Making up ground now is Bury the Lead. Bury the Lead giving chase after Soul Imperatries. Along the inside, not afraid to charge back pedals. Split by Disco Princess. They come off the turn and into the stretch through a 47 and 1 half. Soul Imperatries. Trying to see it through here, but Bury the Lead just came up the inside, and Bury the Lead took the lead. Soul Imperatrice battles the back. Bury the Lead inside. Soul Imperatrice outside. They hook up again. Soul Imperatrice takes the lead away from Bury the Lead. Gutsy effort here. Soul Imperatrice would not be denied today. Came back and put it on. 50, 50 cent try. 3, 5, 6, 35 and a quarter. 10 cent super, 3, 5, 6, 2, 14 dollars and 7 pennies. 50 cent pick, 3, 5, 7, 3. And they're off. Off a bit slowly there was Kateri Empire. Ouch, that hurt. Breaks alertly. Now towards the rail here goes beautiful Karen. And beautiful Karen and Andre Worry have the lead. Ouch, that hurts in second. To the outside of Mori fires third. Bonfire Diva follows in fourth. The other part of the entry, Diva Banka, moves up into fifth. Kateri Empire, after the flat-footed beginning, is in sixth. Let's Maga, two and a half behind her. Then we come back to La Cafetera. Sabrine trails the field. They go the opening quarter in a sharp 22 and three. Beautiful Karen midway on the turn, flaunting her speed today. She has a length and a half lead. Ouch, that hurt comes a calling up the inside. Diva Banker trying to make some ground up on her entry man. Ouch, that hurts off the turn and into the stretch. Ouch, that hurt just took the lead away from beautiful Karen. Here comes Diva Banker. Diva Banker with her eyes set on ouch, that hurt. Down the center, Let's Magas at a huge price. Deep stretch, ouch, that hurts almost home. Let's Magas flying, ouch, that hurt. Let's Maga, let's Maga, let's go. Let's Magas, 17 to one. 36.75, 10 cent super, 9.137, 37.75. And the 50 cent pick three, 739, $416.25. And they're off. Last in, first out on Bridal's Rain showed some speed. Now the rest of them join her. Here comes laughter between rivals at the rails, ruler of the night. These two have a length on Moulin Rouge and Blue Eyed Warrior, who are third and fourth, respectively. Then Devilly to the far outside, MAS Screws, the three back markers are Maddie Surprise, Sweet Sensation, and Unbridled's Rain who broke alertly. 22-3, and three, Ruler of the Night and Laugh. They're going at it. They ripped through that opening quarter. Here comes Blue-Eyed Warrior, rallying three wide. Devilly follows that move with a four wide bid. Maddie Surprise from the back. Far outside, Sweet Sensation. Any one of four or five can win it. Off the turn, into the stretch. Through a half mile here in 47 flat. Blue-Eyed Warrior bracing for Devilly. Blue-Eyed Warrior a length. Devilly down the center. Blue-Eyed Warrior past the eighth pole with a length and a half lead. Laughter hangs in there. Here's Devilly. Blue-Eyed Warrior's almost home. Devilly a final run. Blue-Eyed Warrior. Devilly. Blue-Eyed Warrior. Three parts of a length. 
twenty. Two dollar exact to six seven nineteen eighty. Fifty cent try six seven three eighteen dollars twenty five cents. Ten cent super six seven three eight thirty three sixty five. And they're off. All came away to a nice, clean start. McDonough goes to the lead. Between there's Mortgage Rating at the inside with no name. These three now have a length and a half on Retail Man. To the outside, it's the Delaware Boys just went past Retail Man. Towards the back of the field are Gograd and Connect the Brox. McDonough has Mortgage Rating with no name to his inside. They've sped off three lengths in front. Of the Delaware boys through an opening quarter of 23 flat. Moving up between, there's Retail Man. At the rail, Connect the Brocks is forward as well. And the trailers now go grad. Midway on the turn, McDonough. Been hounded by Mortgage Rating with no name the entire way. Retail Man trying to split horses. Tight there for Connect the Brocks. Jeremiah Flores trying to send him on through through a half and 46 and 4. The field's coming off the turn and into the stretch now. And it's anyone's race here. McDonough's trying to see it through. Between horses, here's Retail Man. Connect the Brox is on the lead. And the Delaware Boys connect the Brox. The Delaware Boys down the center. Connect the Brox. The Delaware Boys storms to the lead and edges away to win it by a length. The Delaware Boys over connect the Brox. It And they're off in the finale. Off a beat slow there was Puff's Magic Dragon. To the front goes Five Aces. Five Aces has a length lead. Peanut Butter Toast to the outside at the rails. More Valor. Fourth is You Butte. Followed by Puff's Magic Dragon who's recovered from the stumbling beginning. Then we have Playing It Big to the outside. The two at the back are Uncle Taco and Tyrannosaurus Rex. Opening quarter went in a sharp 22-3. and three. Five aces dealing with peanut butter toast in the offings. You butte three wide is you butte from the back. Here comes Uncle Taco splitting rivals to the outsides playing it big. Field makes their way to the top of the stretch here. And five aces trying to hold off peanut butter toast and you butte off the turn and into the stretch through a half and 46 and four. It's still five aces. You butte down the center. Five aces past the eight pole with a three length lead. Now a five length lead. You butte still coming at him, but he's running out of time. And five aces won this one in wire to wire fashion by three. Then it was draw a double eight three one ninety four fifty two dollar exact to three six one forty eight even fifty cent try three six two two zero nine fifty ten cent super three six two seven. 292.75. 50 cent pick three. 683. 273 and a quarter. 50 cent pick four. Three out of four. Well, let's go through this now. Three out of four. $180.25. Nobody picked five. There'll be a pick five carryover of $4,857.15. Nobody picked six. There'll be a pick six carryover of $724.82. And the console pick six is four of six. So three of four in the pick four for 180 and a quarter. Four of six in the pick six got you 48 and a quarter. That wraps up the live racing for the day and the week here at Finger Lakes Gaming and Racetrack. We'll be back on Monday with an eight race card that features that pick five and pick six carryover. Those past performances will be available just after 6 p.m. this evening. Gaming side of the building stays open until 4 a.m. Until Monday, on behalf of the broadcast team, staff and management here at Finger Lakes Gaming and Racetrack, I'm your track announcer, the Big A, Anthony Stabile, thanking you for joining us today and this week. Racing again resumes on Monday with a first post for the 8 race card of 1 p.m. Until then, please arrive home wherever you're going safely. Have a great night.